Hi all, Liam here. I've got a bit of an update for you on the plans for the survival game Rust to be supported on Steam Deck and Linux. Sadly, it seems that it's likely still quite a long time away if it will be supported at all. Now, Rust, for those who haven't played it, is an online-focused open-world survival game. It's pretty brutal, and some people can spend weeks grinding away on resources to build a huge base in it. Rust has a pretty big following, being one of the top most played games on Steam constantly, and it often hovers around the top 10 or just below it. Now, as a quick bit of history for you, Rust actually had a native Linux version years ago, but the developers ended up removing it, citing an issue with increased cheating. Now, I don't necessarily mean Linux users specifically cheating, but cheat developers often use Linux as well. Facepunch were going to split Linux into its own online community, and then later decided that wouldn't be good enough and decided to remove the Linux version entirely. And at the time, they were offering refunds to people who bought it to play it on Linux. So that was pretty much the end of the original story there. But then Steam Play Proton came along to allow you to play Windows games on Linux. And now you have the Steam Deck as well, making it more of an issue. The problem here, of course, is that it uses easy anti-cheat. Well, it's not actually a problem technically, because they could do it, as Easy Anti-Cheat has Linux and Steam Deck support, and is already used by other much bigger games like Apex Legends. The issue here for Facepunch is the same as any other developer. It's opening up a big online game to another platform, spreading the workload of Easy Anti-Cheat and their confidence in EAC being able to keep on top of it all. In a series of posts on Twitter, Gary Newman from Facepunch mentioned how the Steam Deck is the only reason they would enable Linux support at all, which is not unexpected. But going further, Newman explained that it's simply not one issue. They're worrying that opening another platform, they're forcing EAC to spread too thin. They don't want to put the pressure on EAC if it's going to reduce the effectiveness of their team on Windows, which is the bigger player base, of course. And Newman cleared up that while the majority of cheaters were on Windows, a good chunk of the actual cheat makers used Linux and stayed undetected for a long, long time. Trying to persuade EAC to hunt these handful of people down wouldn't be a great use of their time considering their impact on the overall population of the game. So internally, they're talking about whether it's a door worth opening. It's not a Linux thing. It's just another platform thing. Now, when someone asked about how Easy Anti-Cheat is used in Apex, Gary Newman replied to note that they are very different games. And that is a completely fair point. For Apex, it would ruin a quick game, but for Rust, a cheat can potentially ruin weeks of hard work by multiple people. It can ruin servers completely. Again, it's a fair point. One size does not fit all when it comes to cheat prevention, and every single game is different. And while I can completely understand what he's saying there, it's still sad that we don't get to play Rust properly on Linux and Steam Deck, but hopefully at some point they will be able to do it. But that is the story for Rust as it stands right now. Thanks for listening, and I'll catch you in the next video.